Once a designer has a pencil in his hand, he's working in his dream job. Well, never stop is true. It's the fastest way to express your ideas. And the best always is the sports cars because it has the better proportions. It's low, it's wide, and it's, uh, yeah, it looks quite, quite good. Audi Sport 4 concept was a project that was initiated here in our studio in Munich. Our task was quite clear. We wanted to reinterpret the original Audi Quattro and, of course, started with the old version. We examined it, but were nevertheless relatively free in bringing the car's DNA up to date. And uh, based on that, uh, that brief, the designers, they created a few proposals. It was very important for us to establish the sporty character of the Quattro. It has a history of 30 years. I think it's quite difficult always to compare a new car with an old car because technology and safety, for example, is completely different now and 20 years ago. Audi is 100 years of uh, history and you have a lot of something that you can reinterpret in a, in a modern the future. You can see the construction of the blisters. The difference that is now is a reinterpretation in the modern way. It's a bit more fluent than in the, in the classic one. And then the task with the designers is really how to achieve uh, what the ideas that you guys had in 2D and how you, you transform that uh, into a 3D full-size sculpture that uh, not just looks good, but actually works. That's the big task. <laughs> The product later becomes three-dimensional because at some point the sketch automatically reaches its limits. Next, we move quickly to the three-dimensional view and build models on the computer. These become clay models which are then milled. The clay is an industrial plasticine that allows you to shape the sculpture by hand, which brings it to life at a very early stage. And then we work with a, a group of modelers around the car. Design is, Design is, despite the perfection of working with computers, still handwork. Only through handwork can the perfection and passion be displayed in the model. The clay model is really good to see the proportion, the detail, and uh, you go deeper and deeper into the car. If we like it, it's fine. If we don't like it, we tweak it by hand because that the final human touch, it's very important. It's quite exciting. It's the best part of the job. The baby was born and he's basically growing in front of you. Yeah? It's a really nice process. <laughs> The tape is for change just the shape because it's the, the fastest way to do it now. Later with the white tape, we use it to simulate the deepness of the place. It's not really three-dimensional, but you can see the proportions really far away. Because autos is passion. The people that buy an auto is like, I want it now. And uh, we had uh, two different directions, but they were very similar. And these two were milled basically half and half. And uh, these two models was basically selected to go into full size. And from then, we scanned those models, we created the A-class surface, the CAD version of the model, and we milled them.
As an interior designer involved in such a dream project, I started by asking questions such as, how do I translate the spirit of the exterior design to the interior? The architecture is very horizontal. We come up with the analogy of the aircraft wing for the design of the dashboard. Its very taut lines all point towards the driver and the steering wheel, the most important element in such a sporty car. The architectural theme is continued and the entire element sweeps forward in a straight line from the steering wheel to the driver where all the information is transferred to the road. That is really where the interface begins. We immediately ask ourselves what conveys Vorsprung durch Technik in the vehicle. Here we have, as a central element, a mode that shows the tachometer, which the driver requires at that given moment. But this central tube can be shifted to the left and right, suddenly offering the driver another display area with other additional information. These are innovative techniques and technologies, and it will generally take a long time to explore all their possibilities. Interior design is teamwork. We work together with the exterior team, but also very closely with our colleagues in color and trim. One of the interior designers wanted to create a space with very subtle accents in fine nuances of slate, which we then contrasted with perforated leather. The great thing about the entire team is that everyone finds inspiration from somewhere and we are always gathering a stock of materials, which then sets off the creative process in us. As designers, we observe everything around us as we go through life. The buildings, colors, even various environmental conditions or different atmospheres, in a city for example. I like modern design, bikes, uh, technology, and uh, the material, for example. I may like a piece of wood in a wall panel, or I'm walking in the forest and suddenly see a piece of bark that inspires me. Everything we see inspires us. But we're working on a vehicle, so in the end, the entire concept must be right and harmonious. And slowly during the process of development, going through the design evolution, but simultaneously we develop the car. With a heavily involvement with the technical side as well. We designed the light using the all-LED principle. It was very important for us, however, to continue with Audi's ultra principle on this car. We have greatly reduced the number of parts through the use of the matrix. Importantly, we've also been able to enhance the dynamic light feature. We set a sequence that creates a dynamic turn signal display at the front. But all of this is achieved without any extra weight. It's all in the electronics. When the components come together, it's as if there's a magical aura surrounding the vehicle. You see the work of the entire team. We are always working with a big team. We are not only alone. CAD modeler, clay modeler, engineer, every, everybody is coming around. It's really intensive to share the, the same passion for cars in this different uh, side of construction. It's so great. When it's actually shown to the public, it's a very exciting time. Ladies and gentlemen, the future belongs to those who make people's eyes sparkle. 30 years ago, it was our Audi Sport Quattro that made eyes sparkle. 
zum Leuchten brachte. Quattro ist, Quattro Audi. ist Audi und Audi ist Quattro. Then we think, wow, it's finished. Now, for the first time, we can see what we created in our minds and at our desks. And, uh, and very interesting for us as well to have the feedback to see what was the perception of our work. It's super, super nice for me, really. I'm really, really happy to see the car. Because the car looks great and the people is, is happy with the car also. And I think we can ask for nothing more, no? Sport Quattro. It's, I think it's always a reference. It's an icon and has to be always uh, considered. 